Hi, this is Randy from Friday's Golf, and welcome to Over Easy. Now, on this week's episode, I want to tell you a story. A story that begins with my vacation to Missouri. Now, I know what you're thinking. Randy, how in the world can you afford a vacation to Missouri? I do all right. So if any of you have been wondering why I've been posting videos to the channel, it's because I have been in Missouri because my wife's extended family lives there. They're having a family reunion, so we go to Missouri. Now, this trip, like many other trips, begins with a long car ride. Ten and a half hours to be exact. And approximately halfway through that car ride, we ran into a little bit of traffic. We sat in standstill traffic for five and a half hours. And during that time, I got a text message. So I opened my phone up, and it's from Chad Coleman. Now, for those of you who don't know who that is, he's basically the social media guru at Callaway Golf. And he writes, You available tomorrow between 2.30 and 3.30 Pacific tomorrow. Or redundant. Was hoping to give you a buzz from the office to pick your brain about something. I was completely psyched to get this message because not only was I bored out of my mind, but also I've been talking with Chad about a possible collaboration. And I thought, you know, he just wants to call and he wants to brainstorm and talk ideas and then fly me out to Carlsbad and we can make some content. So I turn to my wife, I explain the situation, I tell her about the phone call. She's totally cool with it, but it's a big deal. When I'm on vacation, I like to spend that time with my family. I don't like to get distracted with phone calls and emails and business. I just like to focus on my family. But it's Chad from Cali. I gotta take the call. So the next day we wake up in Fair Play, Missouri, no brag. But for those of you who don't know where Fair Play, Missouri is, it's probably because you're not one of the 500 people that live there. But the time for the scheduled interview is growing near, and my wife has explained to me that her family has made plans to attend a minor league baseball game in Springfield, which I desperately want to attend because it's something to do. But I'm like, you know, as long as this phone conversation only lasts an hour, it shouldn't be a problem. I should be able to make that. 2.30 Pacific rolls around, no phone call. 3 o'clock, nothing. 3.30, crickets. Now at this point, I'm not mad, but I'm a little disappointed because I allotted out that hour of the day specifically for this phone call, and it didn't happen, so I send Chad a sarcastic text message, and uh, I just head to the baseball game. We arrive in Springfield at the Baseball Diamond. We purchase our tickets. I'm getting ready to walk in the front gate with my family and my phone rings, and I look at it, and it's a phone number from California, and I'm like, you son of a... So I step out of line, I take the phone call, and I answer it very much in like, hello, like, what the heck, this was supposed to happen an hour ago, what's going on here? And uh, I expect to hear Chad's voice on the other end, and I don't. Instead, I hear this. Hello? Hey, Randy? This is uh, Tom yeah. Watson. Do you, do you have any idea who I am? So at this point, I was expecting to hear Chad's voice on the other end. Clearly, I didn't. So I was a little confused by that. And then that person tells me that they're Tom Watson. And I'm like, no, it's not. Who is this? And so my mind starts cycling through like all the people in my head that it possibly could be. And while I'm doing that, I, I say this to Tom Watson. You know, I've, I've heard of a Tom Watson, but... I it's been a while, so I'm not completely familiar with your work, though. Well, you know, anyway, I, I play a little golf here and there over, over the course of the last 47 years, but uh, uh, I, I'm calling you because I understand you made a hole-in-one at Beverly's Hills. Is that right? It's at that point that I realized that I really am talking to Tom Watson, and you can immediately hear me switch over to, like, sarcastic, like, bam, I'm going to throw some jabs at you, Randy, to giddy as a schoolgirl, Randy. Huh? And you got uh, it on camera? I don't, I don't know who you've been talking to, but uh, yeah, yeah, that, that's uh, that's what went down. That's it. How many holes in one is that? That's number two. Did you hit a good shot? I, you know, or did you skull it? The most important. No, that's the most important part of it. It was, it was dead solid, perfect. That's the way. That's the way to do it. I can't explain to you the feeling that was going through my body right there. It's like. I make this homemade golf course with my dad. I drop a hole in one on him. And then Tom Watson calls me up and congratulates me and says the name of the course in his congratulations. It's like, I, I only have the two and I hit them both good. So uh, I'm thankful for that. But the best part of it was it was in a heads up match against my dad. Yeah. And uh, it just, it crushed him. So it made me, it made it all the better. Well, actually, they, you know, I'm here at Callaway. They showed me that you, you know, a picture of you. You're smiling. You got a ping hat on. You got a what a Shrixon ball. <laughs> hey, what's the deal here, man? You look like NASCAR. 
I, you know what? You got to talk to those guys over there at Callaway. They just, uh, they, they, they haven't thrown the, the, the club deals my way. Maybe after that third hole in one, right? <laughs> exactly. Well, anyways, uh, good talking with you. I hope that, uh, uh, hope things is going well at uh, Bobix Golf in Indiana, where you where you're living up there. And what kind of briefing did you give Tom Watson before he called me? Do you have like a file over there at Callaway? It's like Randy Friday's Golf. Here's all the info and call him. You know, you and I have something in common. We both have uh, quite a bit of land in our backyard here. I've got a, a little artificial green that I hit too, and um, uh, you know, in my backyard. Yeah, artificial is probably a lot of, probably a lot easier to keep up with than those uh, those real grass. I greens tried there. the real grass and it didn't work. Yeah, it, it, it's kept on getting too slow and disease and stuff. So I, I put in an artificial green. It works great. My dad, he's he semi-retired, and that's that's his hobby. He just he's out there every day, you know, treating it, mowing it, taking care of it. So it's a lot of work, but it's worth it. So when are you going to do a music video? Uh, you know, really with uh, hey, with Callaway and Truvis and all that sort of stuff. You know, you do you do a Jim Furyk, yeah. Mr. Fifty Eight, and all that sort of stuff. So I think it's obvious that Callaway didn't show him this. Callaway pumps off Without you I feel lost You know I need that soft fast core Feel just like a pro V But you fit my club speed All you do is lower my score Well anyway, Randy, it was great talking with you, man. Absolutely, I appreciate you taking the time. It means a lot. Okay, you take care and hit him straight. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Hit him straight. A lot of you are going to realize what that phone conversation meant to a golfer, but I do acknowledge that some of you are the younger generation. You probably grew up in the middle of that Tiger boom. Uh, I experienced the Tiger boom, but when I started playing golf, Tiger had not made his pro debut. So I looked up to the Jack Nicklauses, the Tom Watsons, the Arnold Palmers, Gary Players, Ben Hogan, Seve Ballesteros. Those guys were my idols. I read all their books and I wanted to be like them. And to have Tom Watson call me up and make me feel like a 12 year old again was just the most surreal feeling. Like I hung up on that phone call and like, I just, I couldn't stop smiling and everyone at the baseball game thought I was crazy. I would just, I couldn't stop reliving that in my head. And I'm so thankful for Callaway Golf for recording that conversation, even though they kind of pulled one over on me. We'll let that slide because Tom Watson gave me a phone call. A huge thanks to Chad Coleman from Callaway Golf for setting up that phone conversation and a huge thanks to Tom Watson for actually calling me. I mean, he had no clue who I was, but it just goes to show you the personality and the type of people that work at Callaway Golf where they're like, hey, we have a couple minutes. Tom, do you want to call Randy and totally make his day? And then he agrees to it and that's just, that's just awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm heading out to Beverly Hills this weekend to shoot some content with my dad. Hopefully I have those videos coming down the pipeline very soon. But please thumbs up the video, subscribe to the channel, and I appreciate each and every one of you. I will see you next time. Missouri, more like misery.